I'm the education creator, so part of the programme team. We've been working in this area on and off for the last few years, especially ones that have been here before will know that. And this, I would say, is the most successful project that we've ever done. Mohammed has genuinely been living here for like, I think in total for about four months over, since January in the community. And we, uh, it's a partnership with Granby CLT, who run all the houses and market who commissioned Assemble years ago and with Kingsley Community Primary School and this school is amazing and we've been working with them this is a space that was used already as a kind of it's called a outdoor learning um, forest school kind of learning that they use as a playground so we were it, it really excited about kind of moving Granby CLT up to this area a bit further because although it's just down there they don't usually connect with this part of the neighborhood so, uh, Mohammed was really inspired by a, Franz, a patient of Franz Fanon, and he'll tell you more about this, um, in Algeria, a garden that was built in a hospital by one of Franz's uh, patients, and wanted to build this garden that was white about well-being in this kind of mad sort of structure about how you, he believed that if you grow certain things in a certain way, it would help with well-being. And he made this herbarium that was never finished. And so Mohammed's first idea was, I want to make a film about finishing this herbarium. And he went to Algeria, and the film that is at Fact is about this patient. And part of it's about this film at, right here, but not a documentary. It's, you know, more poetic than that. And he basically has been here to, uh, and was mentioned about a garden. So at the Bionni, we were like, amazing. It'd be great to have a really great public artwork that's permanent. And so in this garden, we, hi, um, uh, we have come to the school, which means we already have a home that's permanent, so it's amazing. Okay, oh, 2020, don't tell anyone. Don't put that on film. Um, so, um, with, within this space, he's built this whole, this whole infrastructure. Everything that you see is white, basically, is him. Um, he's in there gardening at the moment. All these structural interventions are part of it that he's been making. Um, every single Saturday with the community, but also we're knackered because we've just been doing workshops with 60 kids a day at the oh. moment. And so, I, you know, I never know what Hammond's going to do. He's going to make these sculptures and then suddenly I come in and it's interventions that are part of the infrastructure of the whole garden. And it's a space that every Saturday people come and use to rest, to um, sit, to read, to plant, to grow. And it's becoming more and more used by adults as well, which is great. It's also used now as part of the education program that, that within the school, and we've made a digital learning resource and a whole program around Black History Month, which will happen in September with local artists around colonialism, Franz Fanon, resilience. And Mohammed's really interested in, you know, he'll give you a tour, but essentially this area is the community part, which people have just brought things along, but also planting things that kind of recognise the diversity of this area. And then inside the greenhouse, obviously things that are more, it's so hot, that it actually sort of looks like Algeria at the moment. And it's, um, <laughs> but obviously it's usually raining here, as you all know, but um, things that are from hotter countries, lots from Algeria. And he's really interested. Some of the gardeners we work with, local gardeners are like, it shouldn't be grown next to this. But he's really interested in this idea of resilience, like humans, you know, what happens if we do put things that don't usually go together and how do they adapt and change and grow and prosper and change and adapt to their neighborhood or their area. Um, so that's a kind of general thing and it's a project that will, will be as a biannual working on till November and then it becomes the communities. Uh, so it's a new community garden basically but with the school that use it. So every day you've got tiny little kids out here and the bigger ones using it as part of their learning. But if you have any other questions, I hope that's good as a kind of overview of what we're doing. But Mohammed's here and super enthusiastic. So I don't know how you want to do it. If you want to, Mohammed to just talk together. Or... Uh, yeah, uh, sorry for my English, but uh, okay, I just, um... All the structures, uh, the patients from um, this patient from this hospital in Algeria, because I, I'm, well, my name is Mohamed Boussa, I'm uh, French Algerian, and um, 
a bond in Algeria and a bond in the city called Blida. And this Blida, we have like this hospital called Franz Fanon. I'm sure you, you know Franz Fanon, he was a philosopher, activist, just uh, before the Algerian war. And here, uh, after, after two. And um, in this hospital, I met this, this patient called Bolem Mohamed. And uh, during this, he, he, he spent all his life in this hospital. And um, um, he was uh, uh, making some uh, workshop with this technique called ergotherapy. I don't know if you know that. And um, when I, I was in this hospital a couple of times, and I saw an amazing garden. Uh, uh, I was, uh, it looks like this structure. I was very inspired when I saw it. And I asked the doctors, uh, there and ask him who's make this garden. He called. He told me he's Bolem Mohammed, this uh, this patient in this hospital. And I meet him and I uh, start to explain to him what I want to do. Uh, and I learn from him how how to create this garden because he created his own therapy. And uh, and I uh, work to him with him to to build uh, all the structure here. It's not precise, but sorry, I'm like a little bit stressed. But um, yeah, do you have any question? I uh, can continue. And when I came here to, to the Vienna, when the Vienna invited me, um, I was like, um, ask him, uh, uh, I proposed to them the, the project, but I was very worried to be sure the, this garden be uh, uh, not only for, 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 for the Vienna, but be sure it be uh, still be here after we leave. And uh, we work very hard uh, with Poly here, and uh, with the Vienna, and with the uh, CLT, I think Green B CLT. It's another part of here, they, they make a uh, different, uh, uh, community project and we find this place with the, it's a it's a school place and we ask them if we can build the the, the 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 garden here and we start to to build this garden and uh yeah and then you have this old structures and uh we we create like this is greenhouse because uh we decide to bring different plants from from algeria some from algeria some of tropical plants because i, I was very interested about the migration of plants uh, that's why, because inside you have a different plant like a lufa. It's around, you can see it. And the lufa, it's a plant from uh, from uh, Algeria, every day. I don't know if you know what it is, the lufa. Yeah, this exactly. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks to yeah. That's that's like a cool when when uh, yes, yeah, exactly what it is. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, great, thank you. Mohammed, do you want them to? Do you want to go get oh. them inside? Yes, but too. Uh, yeah, if you want. That's right. Because during the time we started here, it would happen every Saturday. As I'm sure that you know, yeah. school, there's not much art in the curriculum, and so they don't have that space to use. So we wanted to build something that they could, you know, they've never done abstract. Oh, so they just, you know, working with Mohammed is really amazing. So the last couple of days, we've got lots of good feedback of that they never had this kind of space or creativity, and that these become kind of integrated into the garden. So suddenly, you know, they'll come back tomorrow and it'll be sort of somewhere else in the garden for them to see. And I think it's nice to say that this was built here already. This grey bit was here, but they just had um, rhubarb and. Lydra people who do the garden have been doing all, you know, this is where they plant lots of the food, but this is always much more of a kind of wild space for them. So building this on top was really nice. And when we asked the tiny kids, um, you know, what do we call this? Yeah. And why do we have this? And what, why, why do we have things in a greenhouse? And instead of saying greenhouse, I said, what is this? And they didn't know, they're very small. I said, the first word is a color and the second word is house. And they yeah. said, the white house, yeah. <laughs> which is, you know, it is, so you can't go wrong. Yeah. And uh, I, I think all the pr project, um, th th this idea of the resilience is very important uh, for this project because for me it's like, uh, um, I don't know if you, you have time to go to see the fact, but I, you can see the film about uh, this person, Bolem Mohammed, and all the inspiration, all the ideas uh, about this project is from here because I'm very focused on about this idea of resilience, how we can uh, pass through a uh, difficult situation on our life. and. Uh, and uh, all the time we try, we try to find a different way and we try to figure out how we try to find the good form or the good possible, with a lot of possibility to go a certain way. I don't have to explain exactly, but I want to say just um, the, the sculptures is like, uh, it's like a representation of this idea because when we make the workshop, I was talking about this idea of resilience. It's funny how the kids totally understand what, what does mean the resilience. Yeah. And so, 
uh, in certain way, I think that the sculpture is uh, it's a part part of that, and the sculpture is a part of idea of the resilience. It's like how you can integrate uh, some kind of problem in your life and try to deal with that. Uh, yeah, and you can go inside if you want. Um, because you have different plants, the lufa, the uh, consoles, for example, it's very uh, a healthy plant. You can use it for your body, and for the example, the, the lufa is a the plant for uh, you have to dry it, and after you can cut it and to use for like a sponge. This is exactly the, the lufa, and I bring the seeds from from Algeria. Behind you, you have a watermelon, you have tomatoes, and the idea is like to try to to uh, to, uh, to get different plants together. Uh, for example, uh, I can tell you something about the aloe vera. The sorry, that, that's a that's a bird of paradise we call them. We stayed near Delphi.